guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by so I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving I did and speaking of Thanksgiving if you're wondering what to do with all of your leftover turkey meat I'm gonna show you how to create another delicious dinner and it's a turkey pot pie and if you want to see how I make mine then keep watching but before we get started please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for we chill over here it's a pretty cool place to hang out so please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell just in case when I do drop a video you'll be the first to know okay so enough talking let's go ahead and get cooking so you guys I'm really excited for this recipe so I'm gonna start off by prepping my vegetables and I have two celery stalks and I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna give them a really good chop So next up, I'm going to take half of an onion and I'm going to run my knife through it and chop this up as well. So I'm really happy I bought a bag of potatoes the other day and I really like potatoes whenever I make a chicken pot pie. So for this turkey pot pie, I'm just going to take two small potatoes. I'm going to peel them, chop them up, and I'm going to place them in a bowl of cold water just so it can take out some of the starch. So yeah, I'm just going to let these potatoes just sit in the water for a little bit and then I'm going to drain them later on. And off camera, I went ahead and I chopped up around two cups of tur turkey meat from the Thanksgiving turkey that I made for Thanksgiving. It's a shame to throw it away. It was so good. So I decided to go ahead and use the leftover meat and make this amazing turkey pot pie. So let's start making the pot pie filling. So over medium heat, I'm going to start off by melting three tablespoons of unsalted butter. And now I'm going to add the chopped onions and celery to the butter. And I'm also going to add one chopped garlic clove. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of sea salt and one teaspoon of black pepper for taste. And just grab a spoon and just begin sauteing the vegetables for around 10 minutes or until the vegetables are soft and translucent. Now once you've done sauteing your vegetables, you're going to add one fourth cup of flour and you're going to continue to stir this in. And once your flour is fully combined, you're going to add one cup plus one tablespoon of whole milk plus one and a half cups of chicken broth. And you want to continue to stir it, just making sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. So I've already drained my potatoes and now I'm ready to add the potatoes to the sauce. And I'm just going to continue to stir. Now potatoes take longer to cook, so you want them to simmer between 15 to 20 minutes over medium heat or until they become tender. So the filling is almost done and now I'm ready to add in the chopped turkey meat. And I went to the store and I bought a 12 ounce bag of frozen peas and carrots and I'm going to add that in as well and continue to stir it and the heat is going to really warm up the peas and carrots. And at this point, you want to make sure that it's seasoned really well. So I'm going to add in some more sea salt and black pepper. And so the filling is ready. And while it's continuing to simmer for five minutes, I'm going to get started on the crust. And the crust I'm going to use is a simple pie crust that you can find in the frozen section of any grocery store. And I'm just going to roll it out and just sprinkle a little flour on top just so that it doesn't stick and grab my rolling pin and just roll it out. And I'm just going to roll the bottom crust into my 9 by 13 baking dish that I'm going to use. So the filling is all done and now I'm ready to add it to the baking dish. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the top crust. I'm just going to roll it out and add this on top of the filling. 
So originally I wanted to add a puff pastry as my top layer, but unfortunately the stores were out of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a regular pie crust as my top layer. It's gonna be just as delicious. But a puff pastry would have added that flaky texture that I love so much. And at the very end, I'm gonna brush an egg wash on top because this is what's going to help the crust turn golden brown. And of course you wanna cut some slits on top so that the steam can vent as you bake it in the oven. I've already preheated the oven at 375 degrees and I'm going to bake this off between 35 and 40 minutes. So after 40 minutes of baking in the oven, my pot pie is done and this is what it looks like. It looks amazing. I see some of the filling kind of spilled out on the sides, but that's okay. It's still going to be delicious. And so you want to allow your pot pie to cool down for 5 minutes after you take it out the oven because you don't want your tongue to burn on all that delicious filling. And again, it's a shame to throw away any leftover turkey when you could make this delicious recipe. And I also had some leftover dressing and it's just a really great recipe you guys and I really hope you really really enjoy it. But that is it you guys, we are all done. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share this video with everybody you know. Follow me, tag me on Instagram, take a picture. I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now wait you guys, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscriber button down at the bottom. And if you want to see another video, go ahead and click that box you see over there. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye bye.